Hello my friends, my name is Irvin, also known as Koboman. Today's video is about Linux, introduction to Linux, navigation specifically, and the comparison to Windows and how similar they are. The purpose of this is to help you transition from Windows to Linux, not in a permanent sense, but to help you actually decide to learn a little bit of Linux because Linux is just awesome and you won't believe oh, how similar it is to Windows with the exception of some commands, but when it comes to its structure, it's incredibly similar. So starting off, I just wanna show you that this is a virtual machine of Debian uh, distro that I'm using, and uh, we are at what, what they also call, what's called console or a command line for Linux. In comparison, we have a command prompt, also known as DOS for Windows. So the default starting position for Linux is exactly the same as for Windows. So in order to prove it to you that I am in the exact same location as Windows is uh, very simple. I have to list all of the directories that are within this current directory. In order to do that, we're going to type in ls, which basically lists all of the content that are within a directory, whether it's a current one or the one you specify. In our case, we're just going to list the content of the current one. So if I type in ls, we see some familiar stuff. What does that look like? That looks just like our local profile that are that's in with window, within Windows. So we have desktop, we have documents, downloads, music, pictures, public, and videos and such, right? And by default, command prompt also starts within your local profile. So let me just type in dir, look familiar, desktop documents, downloads, videos, and such. So the starting position is exactly the same. And let me prove it to you visually. I know here you can see that it says C users BUCO, which is the name of the local profile that I'm using right now within Windows. The only difference is the name of the local profile that I'm using in Linux, which is Koboman. So let me show you exactly the same navigation. In order to do that, we're going to have to use a couple of different commands just to kind of demonstrate my point. So if I type in ls at this point, it's going to select everything that's there. If I type in cd, change directory, and go to home, type in home, it's going to take us to our home directory. And guess what's inside of that? This is the exact same thing as users that's in within Windows. So if I type in ls, we can see there's one local profile in there, like I said, which is Koboman. So if I type in change directory, C-O-B-U-M-A-N, and then hit enter, guess what's going to happen? It's going to take us back to our exact same starting point that we are that we were at, and it'll be identical to the Windows version, which is users and then name of my local profile. The only difference is in Linux it's called home instead of users. So we are within home which is identical to users, and now we're going to navigate to its local profile, which is Koboman. On this other side, it's B-U-C-O, which is the current local profile. And if I hit enter, there we are. And I type in ls, we're back inside of our local profile, just like the exact same starting point that's in within Windows. All right, let's move on from there and start to look at some other basic stuff that we can find. In order to show hidden files within Linux, just like they are hidden in Windows, we have to type in ls, list the current content of the directory or the one you specify, and then type in dash a. This will tell it to show all the hidden files. So if I hit enter, it won't just list the contents there. Anything that's hidden will also be shown. You see that? Now it shows quite a bit more as opposed to just regular LS, which is here. This is regular LS. 
and here is ls dash a. There's quite a bit of stuff that's hidden there by default, just like in Windows. If you go into Windows and enable show hidden files, I guarantee you there'll be some stuff that comes up on desktop or anywhere else that there are hidden files, obviously. Now, before we proceed, I just want to point this out. I uh, made this, uh, okay, so I made this mug. I was thinking about a design and like, it's my first time actually making a mug. So I decided to base it off of uh, my work motto. Sometimes I get, you know, but you know, who doesn't? But you know, sometimes you do get stressed out at work or, or there's just so much work. And then my motto is, this is what I tell people, I click, I get paid, I don't know. You know, what can you do? It's just another day and there's no point of getting stressed out. So I came up with this funny motto and I decided to make a mug out of it. And I only, uh, I put it up for sale for five days. There's a link in the description if you're interested and it's only $9.99 plus shipping. All right, let's get back to the video. So now that we know how similar it is to Windows, now we can proceed into navigating and trying to open up some files that we can potentially edit. So let's go ahead and clear our content that are within our command line. And that's very simple, actually. You just type in clear. This is pretty cool, actually. And now we are back at our starting point. So let's start to moving up in our directory, kind of navigate through. Now we already know that if we type in CD, it's gonna change our directory. And I'm gonna move one level up. I'm gonna type in LS again to see what's inside of it. And then I'm going to look for a random folder that I'm going to pick. And I think I'm gonna to go to var. I'm gonna to go to var and see what's inside of that, right? So I'm just gonna type in CD VAR. And uh, now that we are inside of VAR, I'm gonna type in LS again to see what's inside of that. And then, you know what? I think I'm gonna to go to www folder, right? So I'm just gonna type in again, change directory, www, right? I'm gonna hit enter. And same thing, I'm just gonna hit ls and see what's inside of that. So we can see there's HTML folder inside of that. Now that we've listed it, let's, so let's navigate into that. Change directory, HTML, that's the name of our folder. And let's see what's inside of that, ls. We can see there's a file in there, an HTML file called index.html. And that's awesome, right? So the way we got to this was actually going one level at a time, one folder at a time. And that's fine if you feel comfortable with that. However, if you know the exact location of index.html, you can simply navigate to it directly without having to go from one directory to another. So let me go back to where we started. I'm just going to type in CD. Here's our starting point. And from here, I'm just going to type in CD. And I'm literally going to spell out what it says here, just like so, including the forward slash here. So I'm going to type in forward slash VAR www.ht ml enter and here we are inside of html folder and if we type in ls we can see that there's index html inside of it so let's see if there are any hidden folders you know in case we're you know you, you know you're looking for something there and you can't see it we're going to do our dash a command and see if there's anything else in there we can see there are some other folders inside of this and if you really wanted to you can navigate to that change directory dot dot that's the name of the folder we have here let's see if we can get into that and all that does is actually just takes us back down a level so every time you see two dots like that that's all it does so i'm going to leave it at that because i'm trying to make this video very basic and simple so let's go back to our html html folder ls again and now let's try to open up our index.html as part of our navigation tutorial there are a couple of ways of doing of doing this and it's kind of similar to what happens when you open things in a notepad and the reason i say that is because linux uses a couple of different 
text editors and one is called VI. So simply in order to, you know, to open index.html, you can simply just type in VI index.html. So if I hit enter here, it's going to open it up in this editor. In order to navigate through it, you just use your arrow keys. Just like so, let me, uh, just like so, you can use your arrow keys, you can navigate through it, right? However, I don't like to use this editor, so I'm going to move on to another one, that, which I think is much cooler. If you happen to be inside of this one, to exit it, you will have to do colon command. So if you hold shift and press colon, and then type in X, it's just going to exit it without making any changes. And here we are back at our main screen. The one I like to use, and I'll show you why, is called Nano, Nano Editor. So if I type in Nano, Nano, and type in index.html, and I hit enter, it actually looks quite a bit different. Let me just move this here for a second. You can see that some things are color coded and you know, looks much nicer. Not only that, we have a list of commands down here handy. I mean, sure, you can always, you know, try to look up commands for VI and, you know, this and that. I mean, yeah, of course you can, you know, remember them. But I like Nano because, you know, it gives you a little bit more to work with. At least I don't have to remember everything, you know, especially if you're new. If you don't to, you know, if you don't want to go back and, and look up everything, all the commands for this and that, you can simply just use Nano and it'll give you some instructions right down here. So in order to use Nano, we have to use our control function. So what we do is basically hit control and hold it. And for example, we can see here that says, if you want to go to next page, you do control V. So if we just, if you're already holding control, I'm just going to press V, it's going to go to the next page. And if we control V again, it's going to go next page again. And then if we want to go back, we can do control. And then it says here Y. So we're going to press Y. And that, you know, basically will do it. And you can do the same thing when it comes to these, all of these instructions here. Right. And one thing I like also about Nano is you can simply start typing things. So let's go ahead and navigate just a random place. Right, I'm just gonna type in test of the word editor. Right, you can just start typing. Um, in VI, you actually have to execute another command in order to start typing anything. In Nano, you don't have to, you can just start typing. And if you want to save something, and uh, of course, I'm you know making it again. I'm trying to make this really simple because for this video. And if you want to save something, we can see there is an exit command right here, and it's Control X. And this is a really cool part about it. So if I'm holding Control and I hit X, you get this window, and it's asking you, Hey, do you want to save this, or do you want to cancel? And it tells you what to press exactly. And you don't have to hold anything at this point. You just press. Y, N, or C if you want to cancel. And in my case, I'm not going to save anything, so I'm just hit no, I'm not gonna save anything. And there they are, and there, and there it is, I should say. It's, it's, you know, it just exits and goes back to the main command line where you start and drop that off, right? Well, there you have it, guys. That is the video on simple navigation within Linux. I hope this video convinces you to start using Linux, start learning a little bit of Linux, because it's pretty cool, especially if you want to set up a server that you want to test, like for example, your website, you know? Matter of fact, it just so happened that we were looking at our index.html, which is your starting page for a website, right? All right, guys, if you like this video, please share it with friends. Also check out all of my other videos if you're into that type of stuff oh yeah i already showed you this and i have a website a forum website in case you have any questions and of course i'll answer any questions you may have at the bottom of this video if you want to leave them there but i also have a forum if you'd like to go there and uh, participate and lastly i have 
massive amounts of videos. I think I have almost 400 different videos on all kinds of different IT stuff. So if you want to check that out, it's all available at my channel, youtube.com forward slash Kobu man. All right, guys, I wish you best of luck with all the things that you're doing in life. And you have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.